Yeehaw! Welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. Man, Seven Brew has changed. And I don't know if we can really say it was for the better, but at least I don't have to do so many reviews, I guess. Um, they are no longer doing monthly menus, uh, special menus. They are now doing bi-monthly, so every other month. So January, we had a review. February, we didn't. March, we're having a review. April, I guess not. Um, so at least this gives me some time to upload the review, I guess, right? I should. Uh, another thing is, last time I went, you know, how they had the menu and the serbs were all listed, all the serbs you can get, that's no longer a thing. Now, it does say ask us about our secret menu, but it no longer lists all the syrups. So I'm like, do they not have all those syrups anymore? Because one of the fun things about Seven Brew was all those syrups you could choose from and you just be like, okay, I want to do this or this and this. And maybe it's just they're trying to be more efficient. So you're not sitting there, I want this syrup, this syrup. No, I don't want that syrup. I won't even know. But it's like, what? What? what made you you at least what i thought so anyone that knows seven brew a little bit more than me tell me yo uh, you know is that their history have they always had that was that just a phase what is going on with seven brew um anyways let's go ahead and jump into this review i mean I, i'm absolutely confused um at this point just want to have a good time and and vibe and seven brood sounds like they don't want to do that I, I don't know i don't know i really don't know <sighs> what i do know is we're working on getting a thumbnail what their uh catchphrase is is uh cultivate kindness so as long as they're kind i guess that's what matters right I've always thought they have really good coffee. You know, I think they have a pretty rich brand of coffee. Their flavors have never really struck with me. Like, you know, this caramel, solid caramel macchiato just sounds like an average flavor that I've had before. But, you know what? We're here again trying it. So, you better pucker up, buttercup, and let's get into it. Very sweet rich I wish the ratio favored a little bit more coffee there but I really like the salted caramel and I wish it was a touch more salty that for me I, I think appropriately to say would be an eight very enjoyable very enjoyable and it reminds me of why we go to seven brew all right we're gonna go ahead and switch flavors switch drinks to the cloud nine latte no coffee in this at all i don't know what jurisdiction is to be a latte but it's masta with lavender and vanilla so yeah lavender has been a trend Lavender's been popular um, this year. So I guess buying lavender in bulk has been cheap. Hey, Crumble, you're not watching, but Crumble, do lavender again. We haven't had a lavender cookie. And yeah, I know your, your history. I know you had a lavender cookie years ago. If you're watching, bring lavender back. As for Seven Brew, very strong lavender flavor. I think we had some issues. Well, there's more than I think. We had some issues with Caribou and Starbucks where lavender wasn't coming through as strong as it could in some of their beverages. This one, maybe a little too much lavender. But we're, we're happy we can taste the lavender, guys. We're not complaining. But a little too much. A little too much monster, too. 
could hone in on that vanilla. It, this does taste like spring, though. This really does. It has herbal, floral, fruity, sweet flavors, and it works really nicely. Um, very enjoyable, but, you know, could be improved for sure. I'm going to give it a seven and a half. I think I, I like the caramel macchiato better, and some of the lavender drinks I did try at Starbucks and Caribbean were better, but, but we're happy. Pixie Stick. You would have thought this would have gone well for Valentine's Day or something, but th 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 I don't know. Uh, it is orange, pomegranate, and almond. What? What? How is that a pixie stick? I don't know. All I know is that uh, we're making a mess trying to get to trying this. So, all right, pixie stick. It's kind of like an energy drink soda. A bit artificial, but it's pretty good. And I can, I think I can taste the almond in here too. Not sure that part makes sense, but we'll roll with it. Does it remind me of a pixie stick, though? Maybe in a way, maybe that's what the almond is supposed to be there. Make you pucker up a little bit. Bring out the tanginess in the fruit. It's interesting. I don't know how Seven Brew is so busy right now. It is like 4 o'clock. Five o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday. Um, you know, I it's hard to really judge this, right? You get some orange and pomegranate flavors that are just a little too artificial, but it's an enjoyable beverage for what it is. Um, I think I like the other two a little bit better, so I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give this seven. I think a seven works. I think it's it's fair, and. Uh, you know, all three drinks, I'd say, are worth your try if you're if you're near Seven Brew. I kind of want to go back and get some coffee with lavender if they're going to let me do that. But um, I guess I'll need to make a phone call. I don't want to come all the way out here and screw up. But, yeah, um, all i got to say is good job, Seven Brew, and I'll be back. But some, some concerns for sure. And other than that, I'll see you all around. Yeah. <laughs>